Sharing Files with Others. In this lesson, we're going to discuss sharing from any folder on your computer. We'll talk about how to share files by using the public folder on your computer. And then we'll talk about media sharing. OK, so let's get started. From the time we were young, we were taught to share. And so there may be times when you have information on your system, whether it's pictures or files or perhaps even music, and you want to share that information with others. So how can you do that? Well, for starters, you might have a folder that you want to share. So if we select the Start Orb and we go into Documents, here you can see I have a folder and it contains a lot of really great backgrounds for a Vista computer. These pictures were actually taken by the same person who made the Windows background screens for Windows Vista. And I think they're really great, so I want to share this folder out on the network. Well, let's say I just wanted to share this one file. If I right-click the file, it gives me the option to share. But I don't want to just share this one file. I want to share the whole folder. So if I select the folder, notice up here I have an option, Share. If I select that button, it brings up the file sharing wizard. By sharing this folder out, others will be able to access those files. But keep in mind, you have the ultimate control over what persons can do with the files they access. You can make it so that a person can read a file, but not make any changes, or maybe they have the ability to make changes or even delete files, it's really up to you as to what level of permission you want to give. There are settings within the Network and Sharing Center that relate to file sharing. For example, if we select this link here, it opens up our Network and Sharing Center. And here you can see, for example, file sharing is on. You can turn that on or off for your system. There's also public folder sharing which we can turn on so that everyone with network access can open files or we can turn on so anyone with network access can open change and create files or we can leave this off down here we have media sharing and over here we have password protected sharing which when this is on it only permits persons with a user account and password to access the computer's shared data Once in the file sharing wizard, we can type in the person's name here that we want to include and then choose the add option or we can select the down arrow. And notice we can choose the account and select add or we can select everyone which allows all users in the list to access the system or we can choose create a new user. Once the person is added, the next step is selecting the permission level. So here you can see we have reader, contributor, and co-owner. If you choose reader, that person or group will only be able to view files in the shared folder. Contributors are allowed to make changes. They can not only view the files, but they can create new files in the folder or make changes to the existing files. And co-owners can pretty much do whatever they want within that folder. So once these options are set up, you can select the share button. And here we see it says our folder is shared we might want to email persons the link to the folder so that they know exactly where it's located. Now another option for sharing is to right click the folder, select properties, and go to the sharing tab. From here we can select the share button which brings us back to that wizard or we can select advanced sharing. This brings up a dialog box, the advanced sharing dialog, where we can share this folder, give it a share name, and pretty much make the same exact settings that we did in the wizard, but here we can do it manually. So we can select individuals, we can give them full control, change, read, allow or deny permissions. This gives you a little bit more control over the sharing process. Now what about the public folder sharing? You'll notice here there's a folder called public on your system. That folder can be accessed by anyone who is actually able to log on to your system. So the contents of that folder are pretty much for everyone. So you only want to put things in the public folder that you want other users to be able to access. But when it comes to sharing that folder, you have to make sure the settings are turned on for that public folder to be shared. 
We saw them earlier, but let's take a look at them again. If we right click the little network icon and go to Network and Sharing Center, and here we can see public folder sharing is off. There are two options to turning this on and some of the other settings affected as well. For example, if password protected sharing is on, then only persons with a username and password can access the public folders. You can select this first option so that persons can access the files but cannot make any changes, and then this second option allows individuals to make changes. But again, with password protected sharing on, they must have a user account on your system. If you turn this off, then anyone can access that public folder whether they have an account on the system or not. It's also from within the Network and Sharing Center that we turn media sharing on. This allows people and devices on the network to access shared music, pictures, and videos on the system. Once you select the Change button, you're given a checkbox that you have to select and click OK in order to enable the feature. On the media sharing page, you can select the checkbox to share your media to, with the default being other users of this PC. After you enable your media sharing, as other devices come online, your system detects them and prompts you to allow sharing with them. Now you can allow this to occur automatically, but that isn't recommended. To do that, click the settings button, and from here you can configure what you want to share, whether it's music, pictures, or video. You can change how other users see the content shared out. For example, the default setting is under your username, but you can use another name. And you can filter out content based upon the media type, the content ratings, parental ratings. And here's that little option down here to allow new devices and computers to automatically connect in with your media sharing. So there are certainly quite a number of ways to allow sharing on your system. No doubt, with all of that sharing, your network is going to be a fun place to be. So we hope you found that helpful, and thanks for viewing.